and we are back. This time I'm going to show you some easy effects with curved lines in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure you've got no fill color and a stroke color, I will use black for that. And now we will activate the pen tool, just click, once again click, hold and drag to create curvature, again click, hold and drag. Now we've got this little curvy line. Select it, hold Alt and drag a copy out of it. You can move that freely, but once you hold Shift, it will be aligned perfectly. Select them both. Now go to Object, Blend, and then Blend Options. We will use specified steps over here. You could use a distance, for example, but we want to stick to specified steps. Just let us use 4 in this example and click on OK. Now we have to apply this effect, so once again object, blend and then make. And here it is, we've got four lines in between the ones we already have. Let me zoom in, I hold Alt and use the mouse before that. Go to window and open the stroke menu and you can see that I've got round caps. Maybe you want to change that as well to round caps. I'll increase the weight. Now let me, let me keep two points, it's fine. You could also use dash lines to create different effects, for example this one. You could also make dotted lines if you go to zero with your dash lines. And increase the gap a little bit. Just like this. I don't want to have dotted lines in this example, so I keep it like this. We can still increase it, decrease it, but all of these lines they are still connected. If we want to play around with it more individually, we need to use the direct selection tool. Just click on an anchor point and then you can drag the path into different directions and see what happens. It's a little bit of guesswork. Just try it out and if you found something that you don't like, just press Ctrl Z to undo it and start again. At some point, you will surely have found something that you like. Let me use such an abstract form. I'll select it all and go to Object and Expand. Make sure the boxes are checked. Click on OK. Then Object and Ungroup. And you can see we can't ungroup it further. Now every line is a single line. So I can select them individually and give them different colors. Let me do that with each. I'll use the selection tool for that. And the color swatches and the stroke. All right, now we've done that. Let me group that again. And we can still play around with it. But it's not the same effect that we had prior before expanding the appearance, so keep that in mind. But I wanna drag it to the right and the left. I'll just select all of the anchor points in the end positions. And now I'll size it a little bit down, holding shift and alt. You can also use the width tool to add another effect. Just simply click on the line and then drag outwards and the width will be adjusted. Let me undo that. Another effect that we can add. Simply select it all then go where it says uniform and you can add another width profile. Let me increase the weight so that you can see what's happening. These are just the default. With profiles, you should have them in your Illustrator version as well. And this is everything I wanted to show you regarding these curved line effects in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.